Freedom is one of the most basic human needs among love and belonging, survival, fun, and of course, power. So what is true freedom? Freedom is to be able to make the choices that you want to be able to make and be live in a way that you want to live. But if you ask me, I feel freedom has another dimension as well. If we actually think about it, yes, it is very important to have the freedom to be able to make the choices and the outcomes that I can have in my life. But today, when we say that we want freedom, somewhere we are still slave to people, situations, conditions and things. So for me, true freedom is to be independent of any such dependency or to be slave to any such thing where your state of mind is really free to be happy, peaceful, powerful and positive as and when it wants to be irrespective of what is happening around you. That is really true freedom. Because a lot of times even when we are asking for freedom, we are actually drawn towards something. And while I do understand and I do believe that there has to be a healthy level of uh, dependency, independency and interdependency, yes, but we need to have a state of mind which is free from any kinds of dependency that makes us feel like we are slaves to something. You know, when you do something and you feel guilty, you don't do it and you feel as if something is missing in your life, that's kind of a dependency, you know. For, and if you don't do it, you get a withdrawal symptom. I very much believe that everything has an age and everything has a duration. Whether it's your beauty, whether it's your power, whether it's your possessions, whether it's your relationships, the things that you own, they all have an age. And when it completes that age, it is either taken away from you or you are taken away from them. So there is always going to be this time when you are going to be separated from the thing that you are dependent on. And that is going to cause a lot of pain, unbelievable pain to your heart, to your mind, because you've got attached to that thing. So I really feel that we have to take care of this aspect from the mental well-being standpoint. Because if we become too dependent on something which is temporary, it is going to cause us a lot of agony in the long run. So why not take care of this thing? And the only choice that we have now is to feel powerful, positive, peaceful and happy no matter what and even if. So even if nothing is working out, even if you are in the midst of lots of chaos in your life, even if you don't have that thing that you want, even if you are away from a person that you feel you are really close to, to still have a healthy state of mind, to feel positive, irrespectful of any attainments, to feel happy even without your things, to feel powerful even without your status, your titles, your positions and your popularity and to feel peaceful no matter what. So this kind of a state of mind is what I think we should aim to achieve, you know, to have a sense of ownership, yes, but to not be attached to anything that is outside because everything outside is ultimately temporary. It has an age and it is going to be taken away. And this kind of power comes from meditation. So I would like to inspire all of you to start meditating because when you start meditating, you develop a very strong state of mind and then you can actually realize what true freedom is. Thank you.